Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupy Plays All the Games, this time from the Proc Jam Summer. The Proc Jam is a procedurally generated game jam. Normally, they have a yearly game jam in like October, November time, but as um, that wasn't always the best time for everyone, they decided to do a summer edition of their jam. This was a low key version of their main jam uh, that ran alongside the Kickstarter that was funded for their main jam. Uh, there were some optional themes that you could pick. There were about 12 of them, and you could get a randomizer to get one of those themes to help inspire you. You could make anything that makes something. This could be games, generative software, music, art, recipes, wallpapers, literally anything. And I'm checking out each and every one of the creations. About 10 per video. Links to the individual entries will be in the description, so you can check them out further. As always, all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out on Twitter or various other social media platforms as well as support me on Patreon if you enjoy this sort of work. That really helps me continue to do this. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites at Big Boss Battle. Next. We're playing Run Run Run, which is cut off for me, and I don't know why. Like, this is the screen resolution that they picked on itch, so I don't... But sure, let's go to the green zone. Oh, I said to return to the game. Oh, the two codes. Up, down. Cool. Sorry. My bad. Nearly died there. You really have to time your like ducking bits like correctly. To come up in between bits. Yep, we're gonna get cut off. Oh no, we're moving oh forward, I was gonna say. I'm just gonna try just a different Oh, I have to unlock it at fifty. Ooh, good new characters. I'm gonna stay with her. She's great. And then you just get these by surviving, which we don't do well, but if we did. Alright, next. We're checking out infinite dog drawings. So this is click. Ooh. When you let go of clicking, you get a dog. So Zada, Topper, Nateli. I like to think these lines are perceivably generated as well. Moonstone, Silver, Germino. Socks. These look like kids' drawings of what dogs should look like. Like, here's my dog Pooch, and Allie, and Chia, and Togo. That's quite cute, though. It's a very cute idea. Woof, he even wrote the word woof. He, they, they even wrote the word woof. Friggin' this. Savannah. Portia. Stewie. Tawny. Slate. B2. Gertrude. <laughs> Next. We're playing TK Survival. That yeah, difficulty average sounds good to me. There's the exit. There's a zombie. Such a big house for a small zombie. Alright, so choose an upgrade. Sure. I don't know what SMG stands for, but it sounds like a gun thing. Yeah, my knowledge in guns is very, very tiny. <laughs> I'm gonna get whatever this is. Cool. Seems like a pretty pretty basic little zombie shooter here. Cool. That's a uh, fire damage up short. Reload speed down, really. Or reload time down, not reload speed. That'd make no sense. I like the subtle animations when my character reloads and everything. Next. We're checking out a sun, a sunset generator, and just basically your freshest page, and it gives you a beautiful sunset. Lots of colors in it. There's quite like a, a little ocean for the sunset to live on. A little sun. Some beautiful skies. Well, that's a close up of the sun. I'm really quite close to it there. So you can use these for like wallpapers on your computer, or for background to whatever you're working on, or I don't really know what people use things for. However, I like the range of colors that they ended up using for the generator because I think it's a good range of colors. Not necessarily all of them. Like, you wouldn't see this, like, shade of green in the sky, but I very much like it, you know? 
next. We're checking out landscape. So this is sort of like a generative, almost like a wallpaper. You don't really control anything on it, but it just sort of moves. Screensaver is the word I'm looking for, not wall wall saver. Um, or wallpaper even. And there's just like environments and different circles. It's quite pretty. I like the sort of gray. I like gray. It's one of my favorite colors. And I like the way it's used in this. But it's just quite relaxing. A vague alien landscape is definitely what it is. Next. We're checking out the pop cycle. So it'll like generate you different ice creams if you click and tell you the name. So the peppy pop. The triple eruption. The frosty tear jerker. The twin pep. The screwball pop. The try me sting. The super sour sensation. I very much like the color scheme and graphics for these. The wacky spilt. The smooth puff. The wacky blizzard. The super sour passion. The peppy rush. The Sour Twister, The Chili Flash, The Sparkle Ignition, The Simple Screamer, The Curly Whirly, The Brashy Smash, The Dazzling Duo, Dazzle Duo, The Curly Whirl, that one's quite cute, The Berry Screamer, it's so simple, The Confetti Split, The Sour Drop, The Swirly Whirl, The Chill Rainbow, The Super Sour Detonator, I'm gonna land on that one, next. We're checking out another Twitter bot. So, this one's called semi-graphics uh, underscore XO. And it does these little things. I don't know what to call them. They just look like things to me. But they can be in your timeline. Looks like it does about, well, that's a lot in one day. I was going to say about two a day. But it does about three or four a day. Who knows? Sometimes it's just semi-graphics. There's some interesting little designs here. Hmm. Oh, what weird messages coming from a strange Twitter bot. Next. We're checking out the night sky generator. Alright, so we can hit C to toggle our camera about. And we can see different constellations. But you can also change these different parameters. Let's put like a bunch of meteors, a bunch of nebulas, and then we can just redo it. Redo it. Regenerate. Look at all the shooting stars. Uh, double bula. <laughs> okay. That one's a very big one. That's quite nice. I think I'm going to. What is that? It's like a weird, strange other planet. I'm gonna toggle some other stuff. Store distance. Can I go down? How do I go down in number? Oh, you just kind of drag down. All right. So I want like more constellations, but I want the stars to be closer. I feel like it became mountain, mountain-esque. Oh, next. We're checking out the procedural toolkit. Now this um tool has been entering the jam since the beginning, since like the very first one, I think. Um. And basically, it's been worked on with each, like, jam and updated. And it's a free open source procedural generation library that's for Unity. And it's got loads of different examples, like it can do uh, buildings and chairs and terrain and lots and lots of stuff. And every time I see it, it seems to be updated. I don't use Unity or know how to use Unity. But it seems like a good thing to have if you're interested in procedural generation. Cool. Next checking out the dictionary of forgotten meaning this is a markov generator that crafts new words yet unknown cool so on earth new words uh angle rare or certification showing on copper occurring before the eyelashes being repetitive those are three very different things interesting so uh, foreseeve which is before uh shank uh, relative, not furnished with hooves. See, uh, l laconic, not furnished with hooves, okay. Relude, the act of herbivorous animals when zinc oxide. Sure. Lure, a tub in taste, 
giving warmth to arch exhib- exhibitions, polls, as thermo invention of one's profession to greasy luster, a lock, one of diagonal w- of which are formed. So that's quite a long description for that word. It's very interesting, though. Next. <laughs> 